Hello friends and welcome. Today I'm going to a brewery. So we've got on, I feel like what I think is kind of like a simple fun outfit. It's kind of like a going outfit, but I put like a plaid shirt with it. So I feel like it makes it more casual. We've got leather pants on, low bustier top and a low plaid. So I feel like kind of casual, kind of fun. I've already done my skincare for the day. So I have put on just like a nice lightweight daytime moisturizer, my vitamin C serum, and also a little bit of Differin gel as well. So my skin should be nicely prepped. I did just wash my hair, so I'm not gonna be able to do too much in terms of hair, um, but let's get going on my face. I'm gonna try to keep my hair out of my face here as we do this. So I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer here. This is my favorite primer. And it's funny because it's one it's from one of like the most inexpensive makeup brands that's like out there pretty much um but it works so well at keeping my makeup on my face and for the price point we are not mad at it because i think it's like ten dollars for this and it lasts quite a while and because it's like a drugstore brand you can always coupon it as well so you can get it for even less money all right, next up, we're going to do a little bit of foundation here. I have switched to a newer fuller foundation. If you were here for my last makeup stream, I was definitely running out of foundation. So got a new one. I don't know if this is new. I, I have like a couple that are partially used. <laughs> Just going to go in with a wet beauty blender all over my face here with this. If anyone remembers that magazine, Allure from back in the day, I think they have like a fairly large online presence, but they were originally a magazine. They do like a best of beauty awards every year. So it's like the top products that like the magazine editors or whatever, online editors, like I think were the best products of the year and like some breakout products and best for your budget and best splurges and all that. And so I was looking at the list for 2020 the other day because I like to just see what people think are the top, the top products. Although if you go on TikTok, you'll see what everyone thinks are the top products. So I just want to take a look and see someone else's opinion, I guess. So it's funny because under tools, you know, they have like the best makeup brushes and all that. And I'm considering maybe upgrading some of mine because I've had them for like five years and there's nothing wrong with them, but I feel like Maybe it's time to just <clears throat> upgrade them a little bit. So it's funny because, <clears throat> sorry, I lost my voice momentarily. <laughs> they had like a section where they're like the best beauty blender. And it was literally like the beauty blender brand one. And I was like, oh, well, I guess that title of winner is probably not going away anytime soon. But there's so many like, not like knockoffs, but like similar to the beauty blender brand like makeup sponges so i just thought it was kind of funny it was like the best beauty blender is by the beauty blender brand <laughs> i did used to use a beauty blender that was i wonder if i still have it it's um it was kind of i don't know it was like a flat like i don't know like silicone thing and it's meant to like not absorb any of your makeup so that it like doesn't build up bacteria and it's supposed to be better for your skin and you can wash it off and clean it more easily than these because these are very hard to clean. Um, I had it for a little bit, but it just didn't blend that well. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like a nipple cover, like kind of feeling to it. It's like the best way I can describe it. Going with a touch of concealer here. I don't often use concealer, but I used it the other day and I do feel like it did break my face up a little bit. So we're gonna go in with some. Also grab my brushes for later. So I'm gonna get like one side of my KKW Beauty brush here wet. I'm gonna use the little wet sponge side just to blend in. My concealer, sort of cover up my dark circles a little bit and just generally brighten my under eye area. Because I just showered in here, my mirror is still very fogged up. So the only place I can really see is like in my like stream preview here. So 
Hopefully this is looking okay. If not, I guess it is what it is. Sometimes when I stream my makeup, I'll like look at it afterwards and I'm like, oh, we missed some spots. But, okay, that looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to just lightly, actually I wanna put, we'll set it after. I don't quite know the order because I normally set my face after all my liquid products, but I'm trying to do something a little different here. I'm just going in lightly all over my face with my Essence All About Matte Powder, and then I'm gonna take that little beauty blender end here and just put like a lot of product under my eye here just to really brighten it up. Then we'll swipe off the excess later and hopefully it doesn't look too crazy, <laughs> but we'll have to see. So and I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Powder. 